Welcome everyone. Welcome on this uh, nice Saturday afternoon. Thank you very much for joining this session about IoT, about Conrad Connect. I am Peter. My name is Peter. I'm from Conrad Connect. I'm here today to introduce our IoT platform, which provides, as you can read it, smart IoT solutions for techies and businesses. So this IoT solution that I'm going to present today, it's both for individuals who are makers, who are advanced smart home users, and also for small and mid-sized businesses who would like to start with some IoT project easily in a very cost efficient way. So first of all, I'm going to show you a few slides about our platform, how it works and what it does for you. And then in the rest of the session, I will jump into live demo mode and I will switch to the live platform and I will show you how it works um, and what type of sections you can find in the application. All right, so let's kick this off. Um, first of all, Conrad Connect as an IoT platform is kind of a cloud hub, a cloud hub in a sense that we connect to more than 120 different IoT backends and we are aggregating all the data and the control functionality of all those devices which are connected to these type of IoT backends. So you can see a lot of different brands around the Conrad Connect logo um, on this slide. This illustrates that ecosystem that we built up. You can, you can find a lot of smart home related brands, but we have a lot more. We have security, heating, lighting, building automation, even industrial IoT solutions are also part of the ecosystem. And all these different things, all these different elements can work together through the Conrad Connect platform. And ultimately, this is the underlying goal of the platform. Because as you might know, this is a quite a big problem on the IoT market that it's pretty fragmented. The different solutions are not working together, are, are, are not talking to each other because they are talking uh, in different languages, so to say. Uh, so different local protocols, different technologies, different cloud services are actually building barriers among these devices. But Conrad Connect solves the issue. So on Conrad Connect, you can use all these different devices together without any compatibility problems. Uh, this type of um, platform and this concept that we built with the platform, it's something which is already proven. We started in 2016, so uh, it's a little bit more than four years by now that the platform is available. And so far, more than 450,000 customers joined to the platform uh, and used our platform for smart home or for smart business uh, use cases. So what exactly the platform does? First of all, uh, you need to connect different type of devices and solutions from the ecosystem what we support to the Conrad Connect platform. So as I already mentioned, we are already supporting more than 120 top IoT brands, which are covering more 10,000s of compatible devices. So there is a very good chance that all those devices that you are using at home uh, or in your office, it's already supported. So you need to connect these items to our web application, which is called Conrad Connect. This is what I'm going to show you. And then in the, in the web application, you can use these devices uh, in relation with our data visualization functionality. So you can build different dashboards to just to see all the data coming from your different devices and systems. You can also set up alerts and notifications. So this is a very nice tool for smart home and also for smart office related use cases. We have a lot of different uh, communication tools and communication services already integrated to the platform, what you can use. So SMS service, email service, a Telegram service, WhatsApp service, uh, push notification, Slack notification, even automated phone calls you can use to be notified if something goes wrong uh, in your smart home or smart office. And last but not least, you can also build up automation rules. This is a very strong part of the application as you will be able to see it. Automation for us means an if this then that logic. But of course the automation rule itself can be much more complex and much more advanced than just an in if this then that relation. You can combine all the different sensors and actuators which are co uh, connected to the platform in a completely free way. So all in all, Using the platform, it just only takes four very easy steps. First, you need to subscribe as the platform is available as a standard online web tool. So I will show you how to do that. 
then you need to connect your devices. This is also very easy to do. Again, this is something that you are going to be able to see uh, during the demo. Then you can set up dashboards and also you can configure alerts and smart automations. So it's easy as that. Uh, but there is even more. So besides the fact that it's very, very quick to set it up, so it only takes a few minutes until you can see data on your dashboard or until you can start uh, enjoying your automations, uh, it's fully do-it-yourself. So the platform is absolutely a no-code environment. You don't need to have any coding skills. You don't need to have any special IoT skills. It's very intuitive you use. Plus, we are also supporting a lot of support measures, a lot of support channels where you can find additional information if you would get lost. And last but not least, it's super affordable. So for individual customers who want to do professional or advanced smart home, the platform starts from 499 euro per month. And let me also highlight that uh, now on the Maker Fair Rome, you can also find one month free offer if you visit the Conrad uh, virtual booth. So please visit it. Uh, and when it comes to the business users, for business users, the platform starts from 20 euros per month, which is also a very, very affordable and, and very, uh, very low price considering all the features and functions that we can provide. All right, so as I mentioned to you, um, then I will now switch to the live demo mode. So uh, please stay with me and enjoy the demo. And then after the demo, uh, we have also a QA and uh, a section. So please just collect your questions. Also, you can put it in the chat if it's allowed to you. Uh, otherwise, you will be able to just ask them directly in the Q&A session. All right, so then let me switch my screen. And first, what I'm going to show you is the conradconnect.com website. So if you are interested in Conrad Connect, please just visit conradconnect.com and then you can find all the relevant information about the platform here. So you can also find all the different brands uh, which are working with our platform and all the different features and functions are described. Let me highlight the support button down below on the right hand corner. Uh, this support button allows you to get even more information to ask different questions about the platform and how it works. So after you, you visited the conradconnect.com uh, website, all you need to do is just register. For registration, you need to select the right uh, package that you want to use. These are the packages for business customers. And then you can also find packages for private customers. As I mentioned, for private customers, we are also supporting a free of charge starter package, which allows you to get familiar with the platform on a free of charge basis. The registration is super easy. It only takes one minute. You need an email address and a password combination uh, to define. And then after you've registered, you can already log in to the platform, which looks like this. So as I mentioned, Conrad Connect is a web-based application. So it's optimized for desktop usage. However, uh, the design is responsive. So uh, the, the site, the application shows up in an optimized way also on mobile devices or on tablets. Uh, what you can see here is the opening site, is the opening page of the application. And this shows already that we have four major sections in the IoT application, namely dashboards, projects, devices and apps, and add-ons. So these are the major parts of the, of the platform which I'm going to show you today. Of course, we have much, much more feature uh, built into the platform. Probably this time frame of the session will not be enough to, to describe all the different features. So I will only highlight the most important ones. All right, so let's get started. So usually the user journey starts in the devices and apps section. So after you have created your account, probably this is the first section that you need to visit. The devices and apps section actually offers all the different connection to those brands that we support. So this list is the list of compatible devices, list of compatible items, what the platform supports. So these are the brands that you could have seen on my, on my first presentation slide earlier. So as I said, we are supporting more than 120 brands by now, but if you would not find anything um, which you are using, you also have the chance to integrate your own stuff to the Conrad Connect platform. We have open APIs to integrate different other solutions. And also we are supporting so-called maker channels 
to connect your own hardware via HTTP requests to our platform and use it on the platform in relation with all the other devices. So all you need to do is, is if you want to connect something just to simple, you know, select the brand. So let's assume that you want to connect a trust smart home system. You just select trust and then you can just click on the connect button. And all you need to do is actually now, as you can see, uh, I'm redirected to the trust website. I need to enter my login credentials to my trust account here. And if these credentials are right, then the application will redirect me to the Conrad Connect platform again. And from that moment on, all the devices, all the trust smart home devices, like these smart bulbs or smart sockets or whatever they are, will show up here in the application and you will be able to use them on Conrad Connect. So let me stop here for a minute because uh, I also want to explain the technical background of, of what we are doing. I assume that most of you are technically oriented and technically even technically educated person. So it's very important to understand that Conrad Connect, this very application, what you can see here is a, is a meta cloud in a sense that we are connecting to cloud backends. This also means that these devices, such as these smart lights or smart sockets, are not directly connected to our platform. These smart lights, for example, from Trust is always, first of all, connected to the Trust cloud service. And then we integrate with the cloud service of Trust. So for us, it's always a cloud to cloud connection. Therefore, when you are clicking on the connect button, technically you are not connecting a physical device to the application, but what you connect is your Trust account, is your Trust user account. And again, you are giving us permission to actually collect data from this account and also to control these devices from the Conrad Connect app. So this is the connection part. And of course, all these connections, you only need to do once uh, with each of the brands that you are using. And then uh, these connections will, will work for you on the Conrad Connect platform. So this is the devices and apps section. So as I said, probably this is where you need to start to set up your Conrad Connect account. And after that, what you can do is to use the data visualization tools of the Conrad Connect platform. We support two different types of visualization methods. One is called dashboards. The other one is called plans. So first I will show you the dashboards, which you might imagine are pretty standard you know dashboard functionality where you can use different type of widgets to visualize different data metrics so these widgets that you can see here so for example this is a widget uh, or this is a widget so these type of widgets what you can see now on the screen these are all standard widget types what we provide per default uh, with the platform all you need to do is just to select that what type of device data you want to visualize on what type of uh, widget. And then you can build such dashboards and uh, visualize and overview all your digital data in one place. So of course, first, when you sign up to the platform, such dashboards are completely empty for you. And then you can just click here to the add widget button. And then you can start adding widgets uh, to, the, to the dashboard. So you can select all those brands which are already connected. This is a test account. So as you can see, I have a lot of different solution uh, connected to this account. So here I can see that this is that my Netatmo connection. And if I want to visualize the humidity metric of my Netatmo sensor, I can choose that what type of widgets I want to use to visualize the, uh, the humidity metric. So it's easy as that. And then after you selected these new widgets, these new widgets will actually show up on your, on your um, dashboard. And then you have the chance to actually, as you could have seen it, to rearrange these widgets, to change the color of the widgets. You can even change the size of the widgets if you want to highlight something, uh, and so on and so forth. As you can see, we are supporting time series data widgets or even just single value data widgets. In case of the time series, you can, of course, change the time span uh, of, the, of the widget. You can even create uh, custom time span on the widget. What's more, you can even put two different data metrics in the same time series widget to actually compare to do the, the two data metrics. So also some kind of basic data analytics functionality is included here. But there is even more. 
because besides the fact that you can visualize all your data in one place, you can even share certain dashboards. The sharing functionality actually generates a link. This link is the, the sharing link of your dashboard. Uh, so you can use this link. You can even send it out from here via email to anyone, but you can even share it on Facebook. And then whoever see this link or whoever clicks on this link, uh, they will be able to see your dashboard with live data on it. Of course, they will not be able to interact with your devices or make any harm, uh, but they will be able to follow the live data on this link. Of course, you always have the chance to just simply revoke the access. And from that moment on, no one will be able to, to check your dashboard and see the live data on it. So data visualization and data sharing in a very, very easy way. And of course, you might imagine that you can set up different uh, uh, dashboards. So for example, different uh, rooms or different buildings or different uh, projects can have different dashboards and you can just overview all your different dashboards from one place. So these are the dashboards. And as I mentioned, we have another data visualization tool, which is called plans. Plan actually means a floor plan. So you can upload a floor plan, a floor plan of your home, a floor plan of your smart office, as you can see this one, or it can be your shop floor or industrial site floor plan as well. And then you can just place these type of uh, sensor icons on the floor plan, which can actually visualize the, the, the position of the, uh, of the sensor. And also, of course, the, the real time value of the different sensor. So it's very easy to actually configure these type of dashboards. So all you need to do just in a very, very uh, drag and drop way. So I'm again, picking up Netatmo and let's assume that I have a new Netatmo sensor, which is placed here. Uh, and this is a temperature sensor. And I can even choose the icon that I wanna use. Uh, so let's use, for example, this one as this is a temperature sensor. I can even set uh, that, the, the, the icon should change its color whenever this temperature metric is, for example, over a certain limit. So let me just put here a few mock data and then I can change the color that what color I wanna use uh, in, in these cases. So you can freely configure these type of sensors and then you can just overview all your data via a, a floor plan. It's very, very important to mention that what this floor plan, what you can see here, it's a JPEG or PNG format that we actually uploaded. You can do this, or you also have the chance to use our built-in floor plan creator. So we have a built-in tool where you can actually just create your own floor plan, even in 3D. And then again, you can just place your different uh, uh, virtual icons, virtual sensor icons on the floor plan to overview all your data. So obviously this type of visualization is more for facility management, building management, smart offices or smart home, uh, but gives a very good opportunity to, to see that where are your devices located and what's the current status of the devices. For example, we are using this tool in our own office in the Conrad Connect office to overview whether always uh, all the, the windows and doors are closed whenever we are uh, leaving the office uh, in the evening. Okay, so once again, dashboards and plans for data visualization and uh, data sharing. And then we have projects. Projects means automation for us. So when we are talking about projects, it actually means automation. Uh, this is a graphical automation uh, creator, a graphical rule editor, where you can create automation and notification rules very, very easily. So as you can see, right in the middle, we have the so-called project sheet. And then on the left-hand side, I again can see all the different items which have been connected to my Conrad Connect account. So all I need to do is again, just to select uh, a device, for example, from disruptive technologies who are manufacturing very nice industrial microsensors. So I will just take, for example, a touch sensor as you can see, I'm just picking it up and I'm dragging and dropping it here. So this icon here now represent a touch sensor event uh, from disruptive technologies. And just to keep it very easy, I will find a messaging service, for example, an SMS service. I put here the SMS service. Again, I've just picked it up and dropped it here. 
And all I need to do is just to connect to do dots. And I already have kind of an if this, then that rule. So if something happens with this touch sensor, then please trigger an SMS service. And as you can see, always on the right-hand side, I have to configure that what and when should happen. So of course, I need to fill in a phone number who, need, who has to receive this, this SMS. Uh, I will put here a text, what's more. I also have the chance to include some dynamic variables, some dynamic values uh, in, this, uh, in this text message. So I can put here the date, the time, or actually the state of the of the uh, the sensor that I connected to it. So from now on, I will always get the actual state of the sensor embedded into the SMS text. And here down below, I need to actually configure that when exactly this SMS uh, should be triggered. So it's easy as that. And as I mentioned, it's a fully no-code environment. So as you could have seen, I I I. I uh, I didn't need to put any type of code here. It's always just dragging, dropping, connecting the dots, and then do some configuration on the right-hand side. So again, this is a very, very simple uh, logic that I built up here, but let's build something which is a little bit more um, advanced. So I will just drag and drop another item here. So a temperature sensor from uh, Netatmo. I will also use now a logic gate because we do support logic gates like end gate, negative end gate, or gate, or we have a generic one which you can configure in a flexible way. So I will now just take an or gate. Uh, I have to configure the sensors. And I'm connecting the dots again, again, the SMS sensor. And here I already have a little bit more uh, advanced automation. So if something happens with the touch sensor, or something happens with the temperature sensor, then this SMS has to be triggered. And just to make it even more fancy, I will now add, for example, a smart lighting device from Osram. Uh, I'm connecting this as well. So it's not just the SMS which, which will be triggered in certain cases, but also the Osram smart lightify will be, for example, switched on. Uh, I can even choose, choose the color so it can go to green color. Uh, and yeah, I need to select the resource, which is this device. I can even set the brightness of the device. So please put it to 50%. And then that's it. Uh, so again, dragging, dropping, connecting the dots, and then configuration on, on right hand side. So as you might imagine, you can build up pretty complex and advanced automation logics here. Uh, of course, we do support a lot more. So we have timing functionality, what you can find on the left-hand side. So you can actually schedule certain actions in time. We also have other functions like delay functionality or random generator functionality or counter function, which is pretty fancy. So with the counter function, you can actually, for example, in case of a touch sensor, you can keep counting that how many times this touch sensor has been touched. And then you can trigger an action always only on the fifth time. Uh, uh, after after uh, th th this happened. So we have a lot of different other functionality built in here, even weather forecast information to be able to trigger certain actions based on the weather or air quality, uh, which allows you to build automation with all your different type of devices for your smart home or your smart business. So this is the project section and the project editor. One more thing that I would like to highlight about the projects, that besides the fact that, of course, you can build your own projects, we have a separate section which is called public projects. In this section, you can see thousands of different projects built by other customers. So every customer, every user has the chance to decide whether he wants to share his, his or her project uh, with the com community or not. So all these different projects here are actually created by other users and shared by other users. So you can browse this list by different categories or according to different characteristics. You can even just search for Netatmo, so uh, by keywords. And then you can see already all the different uh, uh, projects which are created with Netatmo. So this one is created by Y Wesleyan. So this is one of our user. Uh, this text is created by the user here. It describes that what exactly this project is doing. You can see that what devices are included. Uh, and this is the actual graphical representation uh, of, the, of the, uh, the rule, the automation. 
but you don't need to build this up. All you need to do is just to import the project by clicking on this button, and then you can use this as a blueprint, and then you can just implement this project on your own account. You even have the chance to just uh, leave a comment to Wesleyan that that is nice. So you also have the chance to actually communicate with that person who created this project. So you can ask questions if you want, uh, or you can just give, give uh, him a thumbs up uh, because he created this pretty nice uh, project template for you. So this is the project part. And last but not least, we have the add-ons section. So this is the fourth sections of the platform. In the add-on sections, actually we are running kind of a service marketplace approach, which is fully optional. So here we are offering some value added extra features, which are coming on the top of the standard feature set of the platform. So for example, if you wanna connect electric vehicles to the platform like BMW, Tesla, Audi, or Volkswagen, uh, you can do it here. Right? So this will cost you extra money on the top of the monthly fee of the standard feature set. Or you can buy more floor plans. You can uh, join to a fitness competition, which is, by the way, a free uh, service. Uh, you can buy more dashboards. You can use different type of messaging services. Uh, you, can, you can use, I don't know, a Sonos Talks text-to-speech service if you are using a Sonos device and so on and so forth. So these are completely different additional features which are working with your smart devices and the data, what you have collected on the Conrad Connect platform. So feel free to visit also the service marketplace, which you can find under the add-ons sections in the platform. All right, so this was the quick tour to the Conrad Connect application. Again, please visit conradconnect.com and uh, please learn more about the platform there and register if you want. Uh, you can register with the starter package for free of charge, or again, if you visit now the Conrad virtual booth on the Maker Fair, you can even got one month free Conrad Connect Premium, uh, which is a pretty nice uh, gift from Conrad, uh, only just for the Maker Fair customers and Maker Fair visitors. So let me just jump back here quickly uh, please feel free to reach out to me anytime if you have further questions, but also now we have the Q&A section, so you can ask questions here and now as well. Thank you, Peter. I see in the question and the, uh, answer section one uh, question about the how often is data refreshed from, co from uh, connected products? So how often and if I can select time for refresh. Yes, so it really depends on the type of the device. So imagine that in case of a temperature sensor, uh, it's not really important to have really high data refresh frequency. So in case of temperature metrics and similar temp metrics like temperature, we are collecting data every 10 or 15 minutes from the sensors. Of course, in case of sensors like a motion sensor or a door window contact or a, a smart button, we need immediate data collection. So we are using webhooks in these cases. So in this case, actually the, the data or the state change of the sensor comes to our platform in a push message way. So it's immediately available on the platform. So these uh, data refreshment rates uh, are not configurable um, in this sense. So it's, it's fixed for all the, all the customers. And then there is another question, where is the data stored? Uh, the data, so all the servers are running uh, within the EU. So uh, we are running on Google servers, if you are interested. So we are using the, 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 the Belgian uh, data center of Google. So all the data is actually located there and stored according GDPR. Again, if you have any further questions uh, in the future, you can see my contact details on the slide. Feel free to reach out to me or just connect to us through the website or the application. Again, please visit conradconnect.com and also visit the Conrad virtual booth on Maker Fair. Enjoy your Saturday. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you.